Good morning, you two pie smokers. Anyway, I got a couple of new pipes. Uh, I'm not going to do the Yarbrough thing, uh, but this is the company, uh, Gersten. I've had every, uh, almost every version of their pipe. Uh, unfortunately, when I smoked um, about 15, 20 years ago, I got into pipes. I, um, I had a great smoke shop about a half hour away from me in Rhinebeck, New York, and he had Gerstner pipes. And every week or every two weeks, I would go up and buy a new model that he had. And I had the, uh, they make a corn cob version, they make a uh, Meersham version, which the Meersham I never had. Um, and different bowls you can screw in, but it's a system pipe, and there's no filter, but you don't need a filter on this pipe. You just empty this little, you've seen it before on some of my videos. Um, the company's still around. Uh, they're in Seattle, Washington. In my opinion, a website could be much better. They probably sell more pipes. You have to email them, tell them what you want, and then they email you back, and it takes a couple of emails to get the order in. I don't know why they don't automate it, um, but everybody does their own thing, I guess. Um, but anyway, here's the first one. There's a Meerschaum bowl. Now, the beauty of these pipes is there's the hole, if you can see that, and there, there's an O-ring on the bit, so they always fit nice and snug, and here's what I call the spittoon, if you will, has a little hole there, that fills up with the moisture, every so often you just take this out, I, you keep the paper towel around, and or in the, in the ashtray, and just dump it in, and uh, it's an eye opener, because as I've shown, you see the amount of... Um, liquid that comes out of tobacco. Uh, there's the bowl inside the bottom hole. The bowl unscrews. So you can just use the stem and put it on a different... Uh, this is a Meerschaum bowl. And they're very well made. Uh, very, they're light, even though they're metal. They're light. Uh, and uh, they're aluminum. They're actually aluminum. Aircraft grade aluminum. This is black. They come in silver, gold, uh, polished. So that's, I got that one, and I ordered uh, a briar wood in this. This is a shallow bowl, nice lucite bit, same thing, O-ring. And a spittoon, as I call it. Another silicone O-rings, they last a long time, plus they give you extras. This bowl unscrews, this is a nice briar bowl. They make big bowls, they make all different shapes, you can get everything you want. Uh, this is black, as you can see. And uh, really, really good system pipes. The driest smoke you ever want to have, in my opinion, with no filters, so there's no consumables. You just clean out that uh, little uh, spittoon, if you will, as I call it, and uh, you're good to go. The Meerschaum pipe was $149, I think it was, and this was $129. So it's not the cheapest pipe, but they'll last you a lifetime. They're very, very well made. I have some from 20 years ago that are still perfect. Even the O-ring's good, but I got new O-rings now because they give you extras with these. And they don't offer the corn cob bowl anymore, and I wish I could find that pipe. But um, you can buy the fittings, so you could probably take a regular corn cob and with some handiwork make your own uh, bowls, and they sell the fitting to do it, so uh, it probably wouldn't be that difficult. But they still offer the Meershams in some different shapes. I happen to like this one. And uh, the Briars in rustification, uh, like this, very shiny, nice finishes. Really, really high end. Uh, this is a beautiful Lucite bit. You got the little white here. And uh, by the way, I love uh, the soft Frosty bits. I found them on Amazon. I buy a big. Uh, these are twenty dollars. They're made by uh, E. A. Carry, and uh, Amazon has them. It takes about two, a week to get though. They must come from I don't know where they come. They come fifty of them you get. Fifty for twenty dollars. 
it's a pretty good bargain. But I tell you, that changed my way I smoke a pipe. And the bits stay like new. Uh, so if you ever want to sell a pipe down the road, it's you don't have to worry about bite marks. I really like it. Uh, to me, it feels better in the mouth. Uh, you can almost talk a little better with the pipe in your mouth. Not that that's a good habit to do, but um, it makes it doable. And I think it just makes it a better experience. But again, it's uh, everybody does their own thing, I guess. But um, if you notice, I have a bit on everything. Um, softy bit. Anyway, guys, thank you. And uh, I urge you guys to try out a pipe like this. And uh, I don't think you, will, you won't be disappointed. I promise you that. And you learn a lot about your tobacco that you're smoking. And why you probably get tongue bite if you're fighting that problem. Or because of some tobaccos, you get a tremendous amount of liquid like I showed. Some you don't get as much. And it doesn't always have to do with the moisture of the tobaccos I've showed. Um, some lower moisture tobacco, you get more um, liquid out of it. Uh, where I smoke in my office here, it's air conditioned, so it's a, a temperature is not playing much of a role in my case because it's fairly consistent in here. Um, so uh, anyway. I'm rambling. Uh, thank you guys, and uh, leave your comments below, and uh, have a good day.